Explain the factors which affect over voltage. And now you can also get my lecture notes from chepecmedia.co.nf. Over voltage can be defined as the difference between the potential of the electrode when gas evolution is actually observed and the theoretical reversible potential of the involved galvanic cell. Following are the factors which affect the over voltage. First is current density. It is found that the over voltage depends on the current density. As the current density increases, over voltage also increases. Second, the surface area of electrodes. As effective surface area of the electrodes increases, current density decreases. So, over voltage decreases. Third, nature of the surface of the electrode. On smooth and polished surface, the over voltage is greater than on a rough and non-polished surface. For example, the hydrogen over voltage on rough and non-polished surface is 0.005 volt, while that on smooth surface is 0.09 volt for same solution. Fourth, pressure. It is practically observed that at higher pressure over voltage slightly decreases and at lower pressure it increases rapidly. Fifth, temperature. As the over voltage is slow process of discharge of hydrogen ions. If the temperature is high, the process is fast and so the over voltage decreases. It is found that over voltage decreases by 2 millivolt for 1 degree Celsius rise in temperature. pH of the solution. In strongly acidic or alkaline solution, there is large concentration of hydrogen ions and hydroxyl ions in the vicinity of the electrode. Due to the large concentration, the deviation occurs. Application of over voltage. We can separate two isotopes of hydrogen, that is hydrogen 11 and hydrogen 12, which are present in dilute sulfuric acid. When the electrolysis of dilute sulfuric acid is carried out using platinum electrode, as the over voltage of hydrogen 11 is low on platinum and that of hydrogen 12 is high. So, hydrogen 11 will be discharged first, leaving hydrogen 12 in the solution. Thus, with the help of over voltage, we can separate two isotopes of hydrogen. Second, as many metals have low over potential than hydrogen and so can be deposited on the electrode instead of hydrogen when the electrolysis is carried out. Thus, electroplating of the metals can be done easily. Third, in the lead accumulators, when the recharging of the lead accumulator is carried out, the lead is deposited on the lead electrode and not hydrogen because the over voltage of hydrogen on the surface of lead is higher than the lead ions on the lead electrode. So the deposition of lead from lead sulphate takes place and not hydrogen gas from aqueous solution of sulfuric acid. So if you like this video, please click on the like button and also subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon to receive the latest updates.